What is up guys, Austin Rancho here, back again playing Ark Survival Evolved on the Ragnarok map here in the castle, just continuing on with the building because of course that's really all I'm trying to do is just build up a castle so it's all we really got going of course I showed this last time the interior of the great hall of the castle of course the horrible chair where the king sits still have yet to get ahead because I realized I did not have a t-rex head I thought I did but I do not so I've got to find a way to get one and of course I did the kitchen in here still have yet to put up more mortar and pestles forgot about that and we still have the wood cooking in the fire, which is almost out. So I need to replace more. Then, of course, our tables for decorations. Over here is where we're going to be working today. So we'll see that in a second. Then, of course, we got the horse stable, which, again, I just I should have looked for flatter ground because now seeing how everything's laid out, it's really starting to bother me. But we got the horse stables up here. Still have yet to get more horses. I've seen more around, just haven't had the time to do it. And then we come down here to what we built last time where we got our new sheep pin which i took the sheep all off of wonder and we got four new baby sheep so these were the three females we had originally and since i had them on wonder they all ended up making babies with you know different male sheep and stuff so out of that the uh, black or gray color one there gave the two white ones it was a set of twins so that's kind of cool the red one gave this brown one the only male and then this brown one gave this dark gray one because i think they match you know their parents or whatever but we got three females and a male now so that's pretty cool that we were able to um whoops apparently i need oh yeah i forgot i have a lot of stuff on me too it's a problem with these poor sheep they all have uh such low weight let's go ahead and just get a health now it's all bloody sheep but i can't move them so i have to wait till the end but i set this up over here as uh places where i will mate them so i'll um i think i have yeah railings on this one because it's the highest level the 140 so um that's the one i'll be mating a lot with and so i can just walk a male into the air put them on wander and put a railing up so they can't walk out and make babies and then i like the way it looks so i just added more to put all the males in and now i got these so i have nowhere to put them but i'll just probably park them around in this area so we got that then I did get more dodos, so in the last episode I had one dodo, but I have um, was able to fly over and get a couple more. Of course, somehow they all end up to be males, so we have four males dodos just wandering around here in the chicken coop because they're the chickens for this. And then over here I'm going to start building a just a barn. It's just going to look, uh, going to try and design it to look like a barn, um, but obviously it's not going to serve any barn purposes as in keeping animals or anything. Um, I actually may want to build that out more because yeah, I think it needs to stick out a little more, be a little bit, little bit longer. But today we're going to be working over here because I actually want to get rid of this place eventually or should be today. Um, so I'm going to end up placing uh, down these uh, walls. I forget what I was even saying. But I'm going to be building a... Um, what am I building? A blacksmith place. That's what I'm going to be building. Okay, let's see if I can do this. There we go. I'm going to probably switch some of these out. This isn't going to be anything fancy at all. This will probably take no time at all. So I'm going to divide it into two sections. Oh, so this would be the next one. Okay. Okay. So let's put that back. Let me run over here and grab some foundations. See, I think I have some in here. Oh no, those are wood. Where did I put... I know I have foundations. I've been crafting them up. Oh, here they are. Okay, we don't need that many. Okay, I can move at least. But yeah, this isn't going to be anything fancy. I'm just trying to go with like something pl uh, basic and simple that you'd maybe see in um, as like a uh, blacksmith, just like an old school. So we're just going to add those there. So that's going to be pretty much what it is. Oh, I fell off the thing. Oh no, what am I? I'm thirsty. Get a drink. I'm always thirsty in this place, apparently. So we're going to do that, and then... Actually, I think... 
we're gonna take this these ones off because it's not gonna be very big or anything like I said okay so let's I'm so weighed down I gotta get rid of these foundations I'll go and put this stack in here just so they're separated now we need some slopes do we have any slopes we have a stone one but nope we need wood slopes so let's go here into wood then we need two I believe I may end up changing this not exactly sure got two. Oh, I was like where's the other one there it is okay so we got those and yeah those are those others so like I said not gonna be anything fancy it's just gonna be the way it's decorated and designed that's gonna be what we're looking at here this and there we go and then oh yeah so I need a pillar for that once I get to that part and then oh yeah and I'm doing all this stuff and it trying to plan it on I do not plan it very well because I'm pretty much I want to say done I'm not done obviously we need some thatch slopes which doesn't look like I have any unless I'm absolutely just missing them but I'm, it's hard to believe that with all this stuff I've made I don't have any so we'll go with thatch sloped ceiling we'll just go with 20 because I think it's what 8 wide oh yeah then we need some wood yeah wood pillars I believe do I have wood pillars we have 10 of them which should be in theory enough I'll go and grab those and then I need to make which I did not think about this I need to make uh, let's start with um, where's crafting there it is crafting and we need smithies so we can make four that's plenty what will we need flint probably so I need to go get some flint let's go griffin I don't know why I'm going that way but I guess there are rocks over here let's grab some flint from here just pick a couple flint I guess that broke that one Okay, we'll see how much flint that gives us that may not I mean I know I do need flint but that may not be what it was that we needed let's go ahead and just dump whatever we can into there throw in that metal too because I think you may need some metal for that okay cur oops wrong one We can do three, four. Oh, and I forgot we have these. I forget we have all this stuff in here. And what's already being used, because this will obviously be moved over into there. I completely forgot about that. So it looks like our slopes are done at least, if I can find them in here. There they are. Okay, I'll grab the other stuff later. So let's throw the slopes there get out of the screen and I'll have to put you know ramps or designs up in here come on do it place place probably not too smart for a blacksmith to have thatch but you know we're just gonna go with it so we need to find the center there like that so that's just gonna be kind of like a dividing wall oh yeah I did want to put a fireplace in here just as again more decoration so with cooking we need some stone how are we out of stone already 
Let's see, stone and dodicker. See, I just filled the dodickers up with stone. There we go, and nope. Cooking is what it was, there we go. And we'll craft one of those. Let's go ahead and grab the smithy and forges and the fireplace. I said nothing too special going on here as you can see obviously throw that in there and then we'll put the smithies so I'd like this to be you know as straight as possible uh, the, is the gamma too bright? let's go with that Still can't see very well. I need a line to work on it. I can't see anything. Does it look centered? Nah, it's not perfect, but it'll be good enough. Okay, so now let's place. So I will let it hang over quite a bit here. Or outside the place here. Place that, and it looks pretty good. And I'm just going to pretty much just decorate this whole place with a bunch of different smithies. Like that. Uh, maybe we'll... guess I can't get in there that way. Stick this one over here. Oh, that's way too far in there. Pick it up. This is such like small boring stuff, but that's what I want to do to decorate. Ah, that's good enough. There we go. So we have just a bunch of different smithies and I'll probably put like the um, normal one and then that's plus up front here because obviously that's the one I'll be using a lot. Then just leave a gap and now we'll put the f uh, forges over here. So we'll just kind of try to line them up. Like this. just as many as we can get in here and that's all I got but of course I have the ones inside that will then line across the wall there so like I said it's not gonna be anything cool or fancy it's just you know making a blacksmith out of it so let's come over here and we can go ahead and pick up these I may not have room for all of these But we'll just see what we can do. And I may re switch these walls out, maybe. Uh, not exactly sure. Because I would like, you know, to be a little bit open, but I'll just have to see what looks best.
line it up like that and maybe even start over this way too yeah that'll be pretty good so we got a whole little refining forge area to forge all of our metal and that looks pretty good let's go ahead oh yeah I can't move that stuff though I don't think because I don't have enough weight. We'll go ahead and just start with this one since this will be the outside one that works. Then I'm trying to decide if I want to do like a hangover. So, like, have a thatch ceiling, you know, like overhanging. That's not in there. Do I have any flat that. Oh no, I don't have any thatch at all. Let's make a couple and see what it looks like. So, I'll do four of them. What else do we have in here that we could? Got some more metal there. Okay, I don't. It's gonna be hard to like move all this stuff because obviously I can't pick this up. I'll have to probably load it into the Quetzal or something. Whoops. There we go. How crazy does it look? Doesn't look too crazy, but it doesn't look too good either. I like the chimney sticking out from there. Yeah, I don't know if I want, I want like something extra, but I don't know if I like the way that looks. Kind of got some stuff just stuck through the wall, but that's okay. I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. Maybe if instead we put the pillars... up like that that doesn't look too bad but of course then I don't really need this one in the middle now though whoops And then I main move that forge over here just to create like a dividing line between, you know, this is where the uh, smithies are. This is where the forge is refining metal and everything. We'll pick this up. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. pick up all this metal place it back in there we go and maybe add a couple more so it's you know like a u-shape of forges and then of course I do want to extend this out one more I thought I had extended it enough but not as far as I want it to like I said I'm not trying to make anything super fancy here I'm just trying to you know make like this try to like represent or make you know what a castle would have like as old of a castle type forge related thing as I can make and I think besides adding like I said I still have those two so I'll have another smithy which will stick out here and then at the very end of it I'll put in the uh, refining for or the S plus one. Let's see, do I have any railings? We have seven. Let's try that slope, because I want to put a slope in that spot over here. But I, yeah, I was gonna say I have a feeling it's the wrong direction though. Hey, it works though. I think it was the wrong direction.
just you know kind of add some decorating out over here which is what we'll have to do which it's gonna make it kind of hard to probably get metal into there but you never know we can maybe find some way to squeeze some stuff in and I is that all the railings I have I usually have so many railings it's hard to believe that's all that there is well I don't see any more on there unless I'm missing it but let's go ahead and make some more and we got fence stone yeah I don't see any more so let's go with more wood railings sure we'll just craft a hundred but I guess since that's pretty much it for this area um, I may go I'll probably go ahead and just put railings all the way across here just kind of separate this up you know just kind of make it seem nicer and stuff and I'll leave this open so that's you know like an entrance way into this area and then of course we'll be putting out more buildings over this way but since um, have a little bit of time let's go ahead and just start on the barn and let's see if I can even do what I want to do so I'll get these wood because obviously that's what I want to work with and I do need or do I still have on? Oh, yes, I do. So I said I think I want to bring it out one more. Which, again, this is what I hate is the, like, fatness of the bu uh, building. Or, like, how tall it is. But, unfortunately, that's, you know, what we got to work with, so... That's what we're doing. So we're going to go ahead and is this what I want? One, two, three, four. By one, two, three, four, five. Like I said, this is, isn't really serving any purposes. It's just kind of here. Um, so we're going to go with this and we want to switch it around backwards. So I want to design the whole barn the opposite way if it's possible that's what I'm testing out to see here so so far it looks like it's working and then I will be putting probably a double or a whatever the double door probably off the front of that thing Well, I was able to place it all and it doesn't look too bad just that corner but I will be putting uh, probably pillars in the corners just to help and I will be replacing one of these with a door so and then I'm just gonna do like a little shed -y type area I guess you could call it let's go ahead and actually fill that whole area and just so it matches up See about picking that up see do I have any ramps I know I have stone ramps but do I have wood ramps and probably not because I never have anything that I need so I don't see any we could put these thatch ceilings back so let's go in here and go with wood ramp where's the wood ramp and we'll just craft about 10 or so okay um I kind of need those ramps, but oh well. And then if need, as I was gonna say, if necessary, I can obviously paint the barn and paint it, you know, the classic red and white barn colors. I think I'll go, do I just want too high? Because then I'm going to obviously slope the ceilings to a point. I guess it should all probably just depend on the door. I'm trying to decide though if I want a wood door. I think I kind of do. do those two of course I have to sit here and wait they're almost oh the ramps are being done now awesome so let's get this ramp real quick yeah, it should be plenty oh, 
some. Let's see if I can do this. I'm pretty sure I can't. See, I want to do the thing where they intersect, but I don't... It's weird that you can't... I know you can sometimes. Or if you... I don't know if you have to put a fence foundation down. I'll, I'll work on that, though. But there, see, yeah, a nice little ramp into what will be like an outdoor shed area, I guess you'd say. And yeah, that goes into the ground, so I don't need any more of those. There we go. And then we just need to put the door, I was going to say, ramp. I may need to make it one taller. I don't remember. I got bad memories I don't remember. Let's see. So everything should be done. So we got the ramps, which I don't need currently, I don't think. So I'll put those back. There we go. We'll get the doorway and at least put the door on to end off the episode here. Oops. So put the that. Apparently I did not grab the thing. I was like, I'm like stuck on something. Yeah, that does look. I wonder what if I can get it. Yeah, I can't get it to switch. I don't know if I have to use a normal door. Oops, hitting all the wrong. Let's try something real quick. I think I've got foundations in here. Let's see if I can place it, kind of like trick it. Like that. Still placed that way. Dang it, it's not working for me. It may not be able to. I thought since placing it the opposite way would... Yeah, I'm just going to have to probably leave it. Which may act as a nice accent. Because I'll put the door on. Which I thought I picked up too. Backwards. If I can, I should say. Since I wasn't able to get the other one. Nope, that's the proper way. Yeah, it looks like I'll have to, I'm, I'll make a normal one and see if that works. Because yeah, it's just placed because I want that on the outside for sure. And see if it works, I'll just mess around with it. But that's the start of the barn. And it does look like I probably need to go one more higher on the walls. Whoops. I went hit the whistle button, but I don't know if I whistled anything. Should be fine though, hopefully. Place these. Yeah, that's probably what's going to be required. Is three high walls. Which is taller than I was hoping for, but I think it'll be fine. I don't think anything's going to be much of it you know everything's not exactly how I want it to be or stuff in this whole build would look a lot better or different I should say so there is the start of the barn which hopefully I can figure out how to get the door switched around and everything and then of course over here we've got the f uh, blacksmith being built up of course gotta do some more forges and place that other um, smithy and stuff but it's being built up here and of course I think looks super nice or as nice as it can be for, like I said, for being a castle looking uh, related thing. And I think it looks pretty nice. And of course, just going to continue building our little village here. So it'll be continued on, you know, with probably, um, I don't know what other kind of buildings you have in uh, castle and stuff. I'll just have to see what kind of stuff I can find to play with and everything. But just... I guess try and do all sorts of different little shops and stuff I guess I don't know or 
I don't know, maybe maybe just build whatever I can and be done with it. Not exactly sure, but that's, I think, going to be it for this episode today. Let's go and gamma up real quick. Whoa, super bright. There we go. But I think that's going to be it for this episode today. Again, not anything too exciting, pretty boring, but just building the blacksmith here and then, of course, starting to work on the barn, which I'll try and figure out if I can get that door to work by placing a plain door and see if I can get it switched around or look online or something, see if there's any tricks to it or anything. But I hope you enjoyed this episode today on Ark Survival Evolve, continuing to build up our castle here on the Ragnarok map. So I hope you enjoyed If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more Ark videos. And don't forget to join us on the road to 1000 with an Ark-related giveaway once we get there. But I thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.